guys and welcome back. It's been a really long time but I am back in action for you guys. I am so excited to be filming and just being able to talk to you guys. I've missed you guys so freaking much. I'm going to be reviewing the color tattoo um, pure pigments from Maybelline. Um, these have been out for quite a long time but I actually just discovered these you'll never believe where at my local Dollar Tree. I only got half of the collection. There are 12 shades in the entire collection. These do retail for $6.99 if you can still find them out there. I've seen them anywhere from $6.99, which is on Maybelline's website, to $4.99 at my local Walmart. So I guess prices really do vary, but that's what I have seen them. So I think $6 for six is such a good deal. This is just swatches. I'm not going to be able to give you a review because I don't know how I feel about the products yet. If you later on want to give, want me to give you a review, I'll definitely do it. Just thumbs up the video. Um, but I'm thinking about doing a tutorial strictly with just these pigments just for the eyes not a full face just for the eyes um, so let me know how you feel about that and if you want to see that let me know in the comments or by thumbsing it up and I will do that are a no mess sifter guarantees easy application and it stays put for up to 24 hours um, and they are super intensifying um, they're super pigmented apparently if you guys are interested in checking these out they are available online um, I will have to put links down below because Maybelline.com is actually sold out of every single shade. Seeing my first initial reaction of the swatches, how messy it is, and I'm going to tell you guys what I feel about them as of right now. Um, I'm not going to be applying these with an eyeshadow primer on my arm. I just don't think it's necessary because... Some of you might not have eye primers, and then if you do have an eye primer, you're going to understand that it's going to be a lot more pigmented. If you guys do want to see that in the future, just let me know in the comments, um, because I feel like it's not necessary, but if you guys think it would be helpful for you, let me know. So, these are the six colors that I have to show you guys. The first one is called Breaking Bronze, Pink Rebel. Barely Brazen, Wild Gold, Downtown Brown, but Never Fade Jade. I don't even know that the No Theft, No Mess Sifter was even a thing for these. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is my first time, so hopefully they're ready to go or easy to open. Okay, so on the top they have a little plastic seal, which I should have expected, and it wasn't hard to peel up at all. There, peeled up. Um, as far as the no mess sifter, I can already tell you it's going to be a mess, but let me go ahead and open all these up because I wasn't sure if that's what was going to happen in these since they were sealed up with plastic wrap. Um, so just give me one second. Okay, so the little stickers that were in the top of the container were not hard to get out of. I know when I get Bare Minerals, they are so hard to get out of. I'm trying to bite it out, use tools, anything I can. I won't be using a brush because they do say that they recommend either using their brush or your finger. Um, and a lot of times I like to do pigments with my finger, but only if I'm using it on the lid only. So that's why I'm going to do that today. If you want to see... Uh, these swatched with brushes, then let me know um, and I'll do it on my blog. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. Never Fade Jade is a matte teal. Pure Rebel is a metallic lilac with a blue flash. Breaking Bronze is a metallic warm bronze. Wild Gold is a metallic neon yellow. Barely Brazen is a shimmering light peach. And downtown brown is a chocolate brown. These are all of the colors. Um, I was really hoping that Pink Rebel would be a lot brighter than it is. Um, it pretty much is not even that pigmented. I expected Wild Gold to be the way it is. Um, however, Wild Gold, I just, that's not my kind of shade. I don't like golds that are like bright electric. 
yellow. I just don't like that. I don't know where that came from and I don't prefer that, but I have one now, so, you know. Um, and I thought Barely Brazen was going to be a lot better and more pigmented, um, but it's, it's really not. These are, again, just dry, um, so it will probably look better wet. So... I don't know. Uh, Barely Brazen is not good and Pure Pink Rebel is not good. I wouldn't recommend those to you guys. That's it for my swatch video of these pigments. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you want me to swatch them with brushes or wet, let me know and I'll do a blog post on that and then update you here that it's live over there. Also, if you want me to um, do a tutorial, an eye tutorial with these pigments, let me know and I will definitely do that for you guys. Just thumbs up the video by letting me know or commenting down below and also let me know what you want to see in my next video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!